the devil doesn't care what side he takes you down from. He just wants to take you down, right? So if he wants to take you down by getting discouraged, and he's going to go through that door. He's going to try to find that chink in your armor. If you're somebody who's easily discouraged, who's caught up with all this doubt and, and self-reproach, some people, they go to extremes. Like, oh, I'm worthless and, you know, Allah probably doesn't love me anyway and he's not going to accept what I did and I'm so, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing... They don't ever focus on what they are doing. They only focus and can only see what they're not doing, right? The devil will take you down through that door. He's going to try to get you to be so desperate and full of despair and that you just give up. So for that type of person, you need to know and you need to meditate on the qualities of Allah that kind of counterbalance that. Right? Allah is Al-Wadud, Al-Hakim. He's the most loving. He's the most wise. He's Al-Ghafur, Al-Ghafir. Right? He's the one who is always constantly forgiving and more forgiving than anybody can imagine. Al-Afu, right? The one who, uh, who pardons, who completely will erase and overlook the sins of, of his slaves if they try, if they sincerely try. Right? So, and then there's always the other type of person, right? Who the shaitans are going to bring them down with their hard headedness. And it's kind of the opposite situation where there's a type of person that you does, you can't tell them anything. They've got it all figured out. And they're just, you know, it's like Allah left them in charge. And they're going to tell everybody what they should be doing and what they're doing wrong and whatever. And they never look inward, right? Well, the, the shaitans going to try to bring that person down through their excesses, through their relative chinks in their armor as well. So that's the type of person who needs to be told that Allah is al-muntaqim, Allah is al-jabbar, al-qahir, right? He's the one who is uh, indomitable, irresistible, who's able to punish and punish very severely, right? And all this comes back to tawheed because people need to know Allah through his kamal, through his wholeness, right? And wholeness requires knowing both sides, right? Both the targhib and the tarheeb, the, the encouragement and the discouragement. And if you only know one side of it, then you're going to tilt and you're going to fall off the fall off the edge.